What is going on, my dudes? Freshly shaved Setsu here, and we are back again with another Genshin Impact video, and I kind of wanted to uh, touch up on some really cool stuff that happened with 1.6. We'll go ahead and get started with that, but first of all, please, guys, if you like the content, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below, like and comment. Make sure to also hit the notification bell. You'll get a notification of when some new videos come out, and trust me, it would make me and my, and my trusty editor, Rev, happy if you take a look at stuff, because... There's some bangers in there. I'm just saying, guys. I'm just saying. So, today, we're going to be talking about how 1.6 has been, in general, like, I, I think that 1.6 has actually been a very fun update, and I think that a lot of people would agree with that. But let's go ahead and talk about, you know, some of the stuff that's happened with 1.6 and why it's a good update. So, from here. We're going to go ahead and talk about first the Midsummer Island Adventure stuff, which is basically started out with a quest line with Klee finding out about, you know, basically she got a letter talking about the Dodo King. Dodo King sent it to her. By the way, really quick, before I do anything else, spoiler alert, there's going to be heavy spoilers here. I'm going to be talking about the quest line and everything. So again, if you don't like spoilers, I highly suggest that you at least pause, finish this quest, come back to the video, and then, you know, we can talk about it from there. Klee gets a letter from who calls themselves the Dodo King, and the Dodo King is saying that they want Dodoko back, which is her, you know, little stuffed animal that she keeps on the side th that her mom got her. From there, we're trying to get permission from Jean and Barbara to, well, from Jean, and Barbara's trying to help us out, uh, to go to the Golden Apple Archipelago to find the Dodo King and receive their blessing for Dodoko. This honestly, like, I was kind of confused. I'm like, Dodo King, this is like, this is actually a thing? And it, it really confused me at first, but I thought it was like really funny in general. I kind of just sat there and laughed and like, Let's find, let's let's see what what's going to happen with this because I was so confused. Anyways, what was really cool about 1.6 is that we did get, you know, the uh, echoing tales thing on top of that, which got us the summer barber skin. And then if you pay 30 bucks, basically, you get the Jean summer skin. But we've already talked about that before. Let's go ahead and talk about how this event has been in general. Now, the first part of this event consisted of basically just collecting uh, these shiny floatsums, and you would get them from special events that you find like out at sea. And what was really cool about this is that you had to use the boat to kind of get to them, and they were like just random islands and random placements, and I thought it was really cool. The best way that you would go about it is that you would find barrels with the little swirly things, and you get rid of those, and you would actually like complete some of these challenges like, you know, the 2000 shiny floatsum, defeating 30 enemies, and then the Wave Riders heavy cannon on explosive barrels to destroy the violet, violent wind barriers. And that's, that's what I'm talking about is like, you would get those done. I highly recommend if you haven't done this yet to get those done and to make sure that you get hit those barrels, because that is strictly, strictly important towards this mission. You get a, you get a decent amount of stuff, you know, 90 primos for the first set, and then you also get, you know, training books. It's not a lot, but it's something that, like, you could get everything done within the span of, like, 15 minutes. And that's what's the overlaying theme with this event, is that you could get everything done in a very, very quick amount of time. With this event shop, you get all this stuff with the shiny floatsums. And honestly, a lot of this stuff is really, really good. You get exclusives when it comes to that, like this pure gorgeous summer, like little pond. I am so happy I got because it's going to help me with designing stuff in my teapot. Definitely a very good thing. I gave it a thumbs up because honestly, it's very fun, very easy to do. And you could do it even after that. You could do it with friends. It's it's pretty easy. Now, over to step two. This was kind of the racing thing. And I like this too, especially with the challenges. The challenges were super easy. Like if you didn't beat it the first time and you got like 25,000, you could literally go through the second time and do it. Now, there is a trick. If you would destroy the towers that pop up, that actually gets you gold coins and that helps your percentage or helps your amount of points. Honestly, this was not hard at all. And again, it was one of those things where you got a bunch of stuff for just doing it. What was really cool about it is you had one, two, three, four, five, six, six different ones. And again, you get, uh, what was it? Like 30 Primo Jams for each one. So you're getting what? 
180 primo gems like just doing that and these release daily but now they're all out guys i give this a thumbs up too because again this is the whole point of this event of this whole event was easy challenges <laughs> let's go to number three here when this released gave us uh you know magu G genki which is basically the new boss monster and i gotta tell you guys magu genki is a cool freaking boss monster i i love facing him just for the fact that he's cool to face now i couldn't get this challenge done this magu genki without being hit by its mask attacks because i don't know what the hell i have to do to get this done with and i i understand it says that but me and mika shout out to mika on my discord we tested this and i didn't even get hit by any attacks and it still said that i, w I was hit by something so it was highly confusing. I, I wish that there was a little bit more clarification when it comes to the mask attacks. Maybe I'm just dumb. Let me know in the comments if I'm just really, really dumb. But this was still fun. You get 90 Primo gems and again, more of these books. And again, it's the running theme. Super easy challenges, but it's so much fun. I enjoyed every little bit of this as well. Again, another thumbs up from me. I cannot complain. And then the fourth challenge. Which, before we talk about this, we actually got to finish the quest at the same time as this. When we get to the quest, and this is where the spoilers come in, so one last warning to y'all who don't like spoilers. Click off of this now and finish this quest and then go. We finally get in, we get the three fish scales that are needed in the quest, which if you'll know as soon as you play the quest, but you had to get three fish scales, one red, one yellow, one blue, but when you leave these gems out in the ocean and the fish go go around it and they're like ooh shiny when you get the fish scales and you open it up you find out there is no dodo king and there's all of a sudden this beach set up with all these different like chairs and you know stuff for clee and come to find out you play on a megaphone or uh what are those little things like you know the little you get what i'm trying to say it's like it's like the old school like megaphone things where you do this and then it plays the music i maybe i'm not old enough i guess i don't know but anyway you play one of those and you find a message from clee's mom alice and we and honestly this is the first time i heard her name so maybe i wasn't paying attention too much to the lore but you find out that alice has taken the time to build this up for clee and say i want my daughter to have this wonderful summer vacation, and I want all of her friends there, which during this event, you know, not only do Jean and Barbara come with you, but also Deluke, Kaya, Razor, and Albedo all get suckered in to come to the islands. And it was all part of, you know, Alice's plan to get everybody there, all of Klee's closest friends. I thought it was very heartwarming. I liked the quest in general. I knew there was no Dodo King. It didn't make any sense to how the Dodo King was a thing, but, I liked it. I thought it was really, really cool. It was a very touching moment because you saw that Klee before that was so nervous to meet the Dodo King. And she's like, I don't know if I could do this. And everyone's like, you could do it, Klee. We believe in you. You're going to be fine. And then lo and behold, it's Alice. And Alice is like, I love you, Klee. You know, I hope you have a wonderful summer vacation. And I thought it was so just touching. You got to see everybody over there like Klee goes fish blasting and brings Jean along and Jean's, you know, watching over her like a mom. You know, it, it was it was very nice. Bravo to MiHoYo for telling such a good story uh, during this as well. It was a lot of fun. So thank you, MiHoYo, for bringing such a heartfelt story that was really, really nice and touching before we get to Inazuma. And I I think Inazuma needed this because I think going into Inazuma without like a dread or of something like big and scary might is going to be a great thing, especially with Kazuha coming out and, you know, we're going to get ready for Inazuma through that. So very good on Mihoyo. We get this little next section with the Harpostum bombs loaded, blow them away. Uh, these are the monster camps. And during this, you actually are able to buy three new bombs basically there's straight shooter there's the floaty explodies and then there was another one rev i'll find it post it right here the name i thought this was fun the bombs were kind of iffy to me because they all felt like they did just about the same thing except for the floaty explodies i thought i felt 
that the floaty explodey was a lot better in my personal opinion but i digress i felt like the other two were basically the same exact thing still this was fun again it's a nice little challenge you get another 90 primos you get six books so it was definitely worth it you get a lot of mora and you get like the little uh what's it called these little seashell things from beating them you get like 200 for each one which you can take to the event shop and get the dodo coattails and then basically everything that to make it refined and stuff so definitely worth the time it, i keep on saying that but mihoyo did such a good job with this event that i can't find anything that says otherwise that they didn't do a good job one last thing with this that basically seals the deal is that when you go to the golden apple archipelago there are all the islands and stuff like that but there's always chess and the chess respawn and for people who are hard leveling trying to get their trying to get all their levels done with and stuff and trying to rank up an adventure rank and get primos this is a great chance for you to do that i highly recommend abusing the fact that we can use the golden Ar apple archipelago to get all that stuff because if you don't you're missing out on a bunch of stuff especially your adventure rank free primos you know and you could go around and getting some free stuff there's so much that you can do during this once again applaud a applause to mihoyo they they did such a wonderful job with this i definitely think this is one of the best events that we've had in uh genshin impact and i would like to know if you guys think so too so let me know in the comments what you think i would i would seriously say that this is a solid 9 out of 10 event 9 out of 10 event fantastic it's great it's fun it's light-hearted and it's definitely something to get us ready for kazuha and definitely something to get us ready for when it comes to, um, you know, going to Inazuma. So again, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Uh, that's going to be the end of this video, uh, but we do have some other videos planned for you guys uh, later on in the week. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Again, if you did, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Every little bit does help, guys. And again, I love you guys to death. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to entertain you. And as always, we will catch you guys in the next video. Take care.